Hey guys, NKG Games here and welcome back into our third episode in our India campaign in Hoi 4, Harjavina 4. We 10 communists in the last episode, we won the civil war, we are completely free and we are trying to go after Iran and so does the UK. They are at war with all the allies, not actually France but they are at war with the allies, they are allied <laughs> with the Sadabat no, they are in the Sadabat park and they are allied with Turkey who is currently facing a naval invasion from Britain, probably and that's until France joins if they join I think that they haven't chosen yet but they probably will go will stay democratic they won't go communist so we're currently waiting for our war goal to stop with Iran we can't join the faction yet because the India the Indian People's Republic firstly is a player which gives us 20 and the Indian People's Republic is not neighboring the faction. Okay, well maybe we can improve some opinions and have this thing going on. If this tiny little piece of land didn't separate us from the Soviet Union, we could just join. Because I saw Iran going communist. So, are they going to join the Comintern? No, they are in the Sadabat Pact. Leave the Sadabat Pact and join the Comintern. And we are an independent nation. And guess who else is in the independent nation? Indonesia. I don't know if they start independent or if they did stay with the Netherlands. Netherlands. Probably they would start at this. I'm not really that good, I guess. Actually, I don't have as much experience in a row to 56, so I don't know if they started independent, but it's really bugging me that they have a focus tree and as India, we don't. Like, probably every country, Brazil, every country, Big enough has a focus tree, probably Argentina has a unique, every country has a focus tree, but a unique focus tree, yes, Argentina has a huge focus tree. And not us, not India. I'm not saying something about British Raj, but not even India. And they're, f wait, what? They're fascist? With 5% following this ideology, they're fascist? Okay, my reaction was a little crazy, but this is insane. What is going on in America? And there we go. We have the nationalist winning. Okay, let's begin. Probably going... Justifying after we ran, or like, the moment we got our independence wasn't the smartest of ideas because we could just wait some days and then have all the discounts on the justification and we do have 16% more world tension I'm sorry <laughs> forgot the word and it seems that when the UK declares war on a country it actually lowers the world tension if you can see our justification on Iran improved, spiked 4% war tension but then also the UK had already declared war on Iran so I think that this we didn't actually generate any actual war tension because of this declaration and then the, we had the Anschluss which was 10% of war tension and the Albanian occupation, and the anti combatant pact, and the peace treaty, which the nationalists won, and that spiked 50% world tension. 
UK can like declare war on Saudi Arabia or something. And they declared war on Iran. Iran. And Iraq. Actually, first they declared war at Iraq. They didn't participate with them, they didn't took any land, they did that, the, the thing that democracies do at a peace deal, they just put a democratic party, and I think that fascism is rising right now. Wait. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it, they started like that. So, they don't have military access, they don't even have them in the faction which would be the best thing they could do like and force a, dem force a democracy to be to lead this country and then get them into the allies and so you can attack on these two countries and not just fail miserably and lose thousands of people just trying naval invasions yep they lost 70,000 troops manpower actually just by trying to naval invade and the other side lost only 20,000 so they have a 50% 50,000 less people so it's a status quo after we join maybe things could change we're not really that powerful at this point we are not really that equipped our units but we don't have that many um, factories we are trying to build as many as we can actually it would be better if we built like three more civilian factories and having UK also into that war means no more naval invasions that they would like once we are in a stalemate around there okay so this is the justification which is closing in less than 100 days and Czechoslovakia is losing land so uh, when once we are in a stalemate they would just send a division and we don't have anything at home protecting and this would cause a lot of trouble so ideological fanatism more defense on core territory, we are going to be on an attack, we can create factions which don't really care, we get more war support which is good, and attack on core territory so if they push us back a little bit, we can probably deal with them, now we have 16 divisions, they are not really that equipped as I said, and some of them are really terrible but they are training right now, maybe. And we do have that atomic experience so we can modify our template once more. I think it's too early for tanks, honestly. Oh, we don't have... Okay, we can maybe get maintenance. What maintenance? I think that's for tanks. It lowers our organization even more. I don't think that I'm going to lower it. Equipment capture radio and reliability. Okay, that's for tanks, I guess. And yes, that's... We don't want a reliability. Logistics is good. I know it lowers our organization. And it gives us reliability. But it gives us supply usage. Okay, maybe I could do that. Oh, we have more factories. You can go in there. And we want aluminium. Motorized? Really? We also need motorized. Another 40? Okay. I want to look at the resources map mode. We desperately, not desperately, we need a aluminium. No, that's chromium. What's the icon for aluminum? No, here. Oh, so it's this icon. Okay, I'm, I forgot the icon. This is some down there. There is nothing in the area we're about.
to conquer. Okay, so as I said, we're not going to do for tanks right away, but it's good to have them reset. We only have three reset slots. But we are entering 1938. Okay, we can reset this early tank and then switch off of tanks. Maybe get something like artillery or I don't know. Okay, this warlord that I'm not going to try to pronounce has a lot of resources. I could just say that. And they don't have what I, what I desperately need. And I'm not going to give any s a s civilian factory just for getting one resource. Nothing really important I could do there. Right now I'm waiting for my justification to finish. And I hope that the UK does another naval invasion but cause I don't want to face all of the Sadabad pack. I know they're not really that strong. Nope, wrong faction. Well, there are about 30, maybe 35 divisions. We have 16. And they have two more, three or two. I see two. Maybe there is one lying around because I thought that it said three. Italians just hovering around, I guess. It won't show us. Now we have failed hospital think that this is really important okay we don't have any artillery and I am no I should have said we don't need ships for the moment maybe more fighters or I could just do that we actually need the research time okay we are just waiting are there any divisions I could spawn Yes, there are one. There you go. And they're terrible, <laughs> if I might say. Okay, we are right now. We are trying to train them, and they're trained. But you need to go to regular, actually. Okay, these are not really that good. But I think by the time we're about to declare war on them, we will be alright. And switch to something like... Um, yes, they are definitely going communist. So we need to join the Comintern, actually. Yes, please. There you go. Then they can't join the Comintern. Actually, we don't need to join the Comitent because they are already in a faction and... I actually don't know if you can leave a faction while you are not war... No, you can't leave a fa... You cannot leave a faction while you are at war. So joining our... the Comitent wasn't the best idea. But it didn't change... Okay, that's done. It didn't change the whole tension as much. Okay, we're going to invite Soviet planificators and then we can... Oh yes! Have two more military factories? Let's go for it! Two more military factories is really good. Anything else we could modify or maybe change? Nothing actually really important. Liga stats for women. Recruitable population factor. To if we get total equality to all women, we could actually get consumer good factories 10%. I think that's not really that good. <laughs> Is it it? Actually, we don't need the manpower. You know, oh, I'm sorry, we needed to continue. We don't need the manpower that much, and consumer good factories isn't really that great. Maybe we could not give them. 
total equality, I'm sorry, but yes. So yes, we we are wasting. Oh, we are okay now. I didn't quite realize that. We're not going to declare a war right away because I need to build up my organization of the divisions. And they don't have as many divisions in the border. They have around five divisions and the three are Italian. I think that UK is trying something again. Yes, they are. They're trying to take down Constantinople or Istanbul, as you might say. Once our divisions are in full organization, it's time to strike. Okay, we have a green division, but it's a green. Like all of them have combat bonuses. There we go, we can declare the war. Yep, we can definitely declare the war. There you go. Wait a minute. So they changed communist. I might screwed up a little bit. They are in the Sarabar path. Oh no. You are going to give me. Wait, they're in the Sarabar path? Really? Okay, I messed this up. What? I think I messed up a little too a lot bit. They have three divisions, we can capitulate them really quickly. But now we will have to spread our people again. Oh, yes, okay. I can't really assign front lines well, as you can see. So I'm going to unassign the units. No. Let's split half of them. Make them into a new commander. Take like the best commander we can find. And put them on there. And tell them to definitely go and push on Afghanistan. So we also have these people that we're going to. Do that. And I also like need a division so it can cover up this front. I would probably like get the Soviets on my side now. I didn't want to call them. Now maybe you can unassign and assign a better attack commander. Because we need to attack fast. Anything else on the faction because I didn't quite... We... I thought that it would say that Afghanistan joined the Sadabad fact actually. Okay. It's... Okay, maybe it won't join the Sadabad Pact. And they are asking for military factions and an aggression pact. I'm not going to get them an aggression pact because I want to declare war on them. I think that sounds good. I, no. You won't join our wars. Actually. And we do have some airplanes that are not are doing nothing and do that actually in the Afghanistan area we can't reach this one I think that one of them doesn't have coverage really get these dive bombers nope You can close the support also in Afghanistan. In the Afghanistan region, I guess. Hey, they're not really covering that. Yeah, you can run into their capital, I guess. And we did invite. Unit cannot enter promise. Wait, what? You can't enter that? I think I am confused. 
Okay, you can then probably stay there. Okay, the people that are on the front with Afghanistan, they don't have that many troops. That's actually Turkish divisions. Because in they lost the naval invasion. No. Okay, to the industry. Because I need the factories actually. And we can now get out of civilian economy because I don't want the consumer good factories. 7% worse because of the offensive war. Okay. That's not really that good, isn't it? Hey, we're pushing. And be careful because I don't want any people getting you freaking circled. But speaking of encirclements. Maybe we can do, we can sneak out one. What are the Soviets doing? Oh, they are sending volunteers. Will I fight my people because of the volunteering? Okay, you can be an aggressive, I said. Come on guys, execute the battle plan. Why are you not attacking? Oh, because they haven't joined the war. I'm an idiot. Will they even join it? Come on, I need an answer. Okay, now we can train some more. Hey, and you, we can edit you. And get you field hospital. And experience loss, okay, that's good. Signal companies, do we need them? Yes, please. Field hospital and silk companies. Okay, I think that something is up with that. I need to wait a bit and reset some things. We are in 1939, so we better do that. 38. And go attach into the other only front that we are actually fighting. And uh, maybe you can then can stop attacking here. Like. When will Afghanistan join? So because of the offensive war, we don't have enough war support. Ah, oh, frick. I thought that we would have a penalty. So have all these troops stationed. No, no. Land lease. Oh no, I, I wanted that land lease. We don't have that many guns. And we also don't have stability. Okay. That's not really that good, isn't it? But we are winning at war. Part of the reason is that a lot of Turkish troops are trapped into the mountains. And I won't let the Soviet Union join. And they call them. Finally. But they actually... Oh, they have volunteers in me? Wait. What did I do again? Okay, maybe you can, like, stop attacking. I don't know. Hey, we have three dockyards. Five? We get those. Okay, we do have a lot of steel. Not aggression pack, no, please. We are winning, okay. And another naval invasion, great. I will edit this front. Wait, is this really a front line with three divisions? Get out. And now you're not really assigned into anything. No, you're okay. But why you're all attacking into this position? Hey, the British are doing okay, I guess. I think they pulled off a lot of troops from my area. Nope. We are still not winning. Maybe, guys, you can stay there, chill out a little bit. I think we are winning. How? I w see it. I want to see. Okay, Mongolia, you can come in. I think they will 
Yes! No, I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. I messed it up, didn't I? Now the Soviets are going to take everything. Wait. Where is my last save game? No, load game. It's an auto save on the 1st of February. Yes! We will actually load that. I'm sorry, guys. I n realized it when I did what I did. <laughs> and there you go. This is Turkey calling Afghanistan into the war. And I tell my divisions to go, and then we have it, the UK. Crossing the troops, and then we also have this battle plan that I cannot really understand how it came out. I think that everyone should be assigned into doing stuff, I guess. And there we have it, yes, I had to load the game. Because I don't want the Soviet Union to the war, they are going to take everything. And they are also trying to never invade again. That's really great. They have a lot of troops trapped around there, guarding the border, and we also have these naval invasions. And we also have 40% of the war score, which is great. That's the British just trying to attack. I think that something is bugged with those unit units. Wait, are they really trying to attack? Can they attack through the mountains? I don't think that they can attack through the mountains. And there you have it, doing an aggression pact. And there we are making progress, I guess. No, you don't have that much organization. Maybe after some attacks, yeah, I can tell you to hold for a little bit. And that's some stupid people just. And we lost a tile, that's great. The British are desperately lying. Go support that. And we lost that. Okay. You can stop attacking, please. And you can stop attacking. And they're trying to do something stupid. So Czechoslovakia is gone. So they they picked the option no. What is this? Carpathia in Ukraine? I've never seen this. Obviously, I don't have as much experience in this game. I only have 100 hours. But they usually, they either take all of it, or make a Slovakia puppet that down here. They ne- what is this? And this is completely free and democratic. Okay, they're trying. The Hellenic Republic has joined the Thunder Dragon Empire as our ally in the Bhutanese Turkish war. So this means that Greece is in the war too? Oh, they're in the Allies. Okay, they're going to ask for Cyprus. You can do it, buddy. I believe in you. I really do. So, if I do that, they give us two civilian factories. And gain small amount of motorized equipment from invited companies. That's great. And Kingdom of Hungary. Yes, that's actually give us war spot. No, you can't join the wars. And the Kingdom of Hungary is attacking this random nation that I found. That's rude. Hey, free military factory. And we got the tanks. I don't think that we should research more tanks. It took 139 days. We are 9038. Oh, this is not done yet. Actually, we need to get this in order to have better radars and they won great for you kingdom of hungary who are not going fastest as you would do and look at the greeks just rolling in to turkey they have a lot of divisions i guess you actually do. Yeah, I'm surprised. 
but in this front we are not really that attacking. We need the organization to build up. And with this not really that smart attack, we're going to ruin it. So if we ruin all of our organization, then we're not going to be really that able to push or defend, actually. And they do not seem interesting in grabbing all those the all of these lands. Yeah, if you want to, you can do that. They actually have a lot of units just trapped in here, waiting for the Soviets to enter. They're not really going to enter that wall. I'm just saying. So. I paused the game, because we are at the 30 minute mark. I'm going to put a cut in here, probably finish the war in the next episode and see who gets the most. Probably the British, but also Greece has a lot of participation. Because they are gonna lose. And we are wasting quite a bit of men, actually. But not really that much, I guess. They, we are wasting almost half almost half of the casualties of the other faction are ours. So Okay, we do have a lot of war score. And the joy the Soviets if you're wondering, they're not going to join. I won't let them, they would actually crash all those nations and get all the war score. If we find some trouble with Turkey and this small front, maybe I would lure them out and like cut off them. Only if we have a lot of trouble with here, even though Greece and probably a lot of British troops are pushing in from here and we're closing out from there. Okay, that's easy. Thank you so much for watching, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel, it's been NKG Games here, bye!